Welcome back to Ben Farrell Freelance. Today we're going to be talking about creating a cut sheet. Now, I know what you're probably saying. Why is this guy giving us tips on writing when he's dressed like a chef? Well, first of all, I'm not a chef, but I have learned enough about culinary arts to know how it's similar to actually writing, which is weird. But imagine this, cooking is almost the same as writing. Why is that? Because both require preparation and preparation is very important because otherwise, if you don't have your ingredients prepared, then your dish might not come out hot. All the aspects of it may not come out hot. You might burn something while you're cutting something else and it's just gonna be a huge mess. So how do you prevent that? One, you have a recipe and two, you prepare. And that's what the next few episodes of this vlog is going to be about. Preparing before you actually do the cooking, uh, the writing. One of the things I came up with to help me get my ingredients in order and basically put together a recipe is to create a cut sheet. Now, some of you might be saying, what the hell is a cut sheet? Basically, a cut sheet is a description of the specifications and the features of a certain piece of equipment. But in this case, the equipment would be your stage play, your screenplay, your novel, whatever you're working on creatively. So it describes the different facets and the different features that it's going to have, including characters and scenes and settings and, and everything else that might be important. So what I'm gonna do is jump on my laptop, show you the cut sheet that I designed for when I'm writing something new, and with a little bit of understanding, you'll be able to come up with your own recipe, uh, cut sheet. So here I am at my laptop, and what I've used to create my cut sheet is Google Sheets. Now you can use Excel, you can use Word, you can use a notebook, it doesn't really matter. What matters is getting everything that's up in here out on here. Also understand that don't get hung up on this. If you don't have all the answers for what I'm gonna show you right away, don't worry about it. You're gonna fill this out as you go. And this is always supposed to be evolving. That's why it's never supposed to be concrete. It's always supposed to be able to change. So as you can see, what I have here is a working title and the author or authors if you're working with somebody else. And then I have an, er an area here that is for a poster or an image concept. Now, I like creating posters and I'm pretty good with graphics, but if you're not, that's fine. You don't have to. Maybe there's a, a picture on the internet that kind of best represents your story. Maybe it's a countryside or uh, Paris downtown or something like that. Chuck that in there. It's all part of visualization and I'll come back to that in a second. Next to that, we have this short synopsis area. Now this should be your general story idea. That's all I would put in there at this point. Next block that I have on here is a list of your character names and then a brief description of the characters. Description of the characters should be generally what age are they, 40s, late 40s, kind of their personality in one sentence and maybe their occupation, but that's just me. Let's move on. So here I have a bunch of blocks where I've established a cast and a character backstory. Now, let me explain the cast. I'm all about visualization before I actually start writing anything. So when I say cast, I mean famous actors, if I had all the money in the world, and they said yes, who would play the roles of the characters I'm creating. Then I even download a photo to this area right here of the actor. And then in the character backstory, that's where we will really get into the next vlog. Basically what kind of got them up to this point as to where your story starts. The next block that I have here is your long form synopsis. Now, if you notice, I've broken this down into two parts. One is before the play starts and second is from the start of the play. Now, remember this is for me. I like to know what kind of happened leading up to when your story starts. And so that's why I have a block there for, you know, the last few weeks or months leading up to that. And then I go into a longer description of my story. So that way, when I start writing, I know exactly where I'm starting and what's already happened by then. And then here, again, this is for a play, but you can also do the same thing. You can design this however you need if you're a novel writer or a short story writer or a screenwriter. I have uh, one column for my acts, one column for my scenes, and I like to name my scene titles. And then I create a box here that is for the scene description. So basically in this scene, this is what happens. And this is what's revealed. That's everything that I put in those boxes. Really, it's just a place to take notes. 
So what I've done with this is I've created a PDF and I've uploaded it to my website for you to download and print out and then you can use it as a guide to create your own. All you gotta do is go to benfarrellwriter.com and click on resources and then in that resources you will see new project cut sheet blank. So basically, like I said, it's all about preparation. And the more preparation you can do, the better prepared you are when it comes to write because it's all about getting it out of here first. If you're trying to actually write what you're trying to write and it's still stuck in here, you're gonna have a hard time. I can't say it enough. Preparation is going to be key because when you have the right ingredients, you add the right amount of heat and you take enough care in your preparation. Then when it comes time to actually write, it is going to sizzle. This is Ben Farrell with Ben Farrell Freelance. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hey folks, before I let you go, I wanted to let you know that with the launch of this vlog, we are going to be running a contest and I'm gonna run a new contest every two months. So for this first two months, we are going to do a naked selfie contest. So no while you gotta... naked selfie contests. Stick to the script. Fine. What the contest will be is email me a subject or a topic you'd like me to do an episode for. And if I choose your topic, and I will choose a topic for every contest period, then I'll send you a copy of one of my plays for free. So for this first two months, we're going to feature Skin in the Games. And if you want to learn more about it, then visit benfarrellwriter.com and click on Stage Plays. It's not as exciting as a naked selfie contest, but at least it's free stuff. Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. I'll catch you next time.